finding the angle in a right angle triangle using a trigonometric ratios. A brief reminder of those trigonometric ratios are on screen. You will need a calculator for this work and to find the inverse sine tan of course you use the shift button usually then sine then tan of course. Example 1. So we've got the opposite side is 3 centimetres, the hypotenuse is 5 centimetres because that's always opposite right angle and adjacent is left. So we're using sine theta which is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine theta must equal 3 over 5. So theta is the inverse sine or arc sine of 3 over 5. So we go to our calculator and press shift sign, 3 divided by 5, and you should get the answer that you got on screen at the moment. So theta equals 36.89 degrees. Example 2. This time the opposite side is 7.2. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle and we have also the adjacent side so we've got opposite and adjacent so it's tan theta so tan theta equals opposite over adjacent so tan theta equals 7.2 over 8.1 so we do the inverse tan or tan to the minus 1 using our shift tan button 7.2 divided by 8.1 and you get the answer which is on screen now. Example 3. So this time opposite our angle, there's nothing there. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse and the adjacent side is left. So we've got adjacent and hypotenuse, so it's cos. So cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos theta equals 6.3 over 11.5 so theta is the inverse cos or known as the arc cos of 6.3 divided by 11.5 if you do that in the calculator you should get the answer which is shown on screen now this has been Mr. Clare from Clare Maths and today we'll be looking at trigonometric ratios and how they relate to finding the angle in a right angle triangle. Hope that was useful, like and subscribe, take care, goodbye.